Approximately 4,000 horse racing fans and horsemen gathered at Paris Longchamp for its Parisian race courses reopening. A total of 917 days had passed since the major rebuilding was initiated to transform the white elephant that had become too large for its everyday routine into a flexible, modular and green website for horse racing in Paris. On Sunday morning, the activity on social media showed a real excitement ahead of the day, as many trainers, owners, breeders, riders and fans were anxious to experience the new Paris Longchamp. A sunny day helped to clear the clouds that could have piled up as the building site was just about ready to welcome the public. The main paddock restaurant isn't open for business yet it will be inaugurated on the eve of the grand opening on April 29, and the organization in some areas still has room for improvement, especially in the way people move around the new site as they become used to the new surroundings, but generally speaking, it was a position start. People seemed happy to be here on an historic day. Olivier Deloy, France Gallup's managing director, has been pretty much hands-on with the project for the last two years, and he more than anybody could have been worried about the public's reception, but he seemed authentically relieved on Sunday evening. 4,000 people was a perfect crowd to check out what was working and what was still to be worked on, he said. My feeling is that positive vibes were dominant and although people will need time to adjust, and so will we, for everybody to find one's whereabouts, it has been a mostly positive day. Many things can and will be made better, but I am pretty happy with the way things went today. As for the racing at Paris Longchamp, it hasn't changed that much since the course itself has not been affected. The only major change is the open stretch in the early straight. 14 riders tested it on March 27th and they seem to like it. But Christophe Somillon didn't and he doesn't seem to care much about the new buildings. Even though he won the G2 Prix d'Arcour aboard Lady Cobham's air pilot, GB, Zamandar, the Belgian star wasn't such a happy bunny. Somi plans to travel more to Britain to ride better horses this year, and the lesson we have learned so far this season on the turf is just supporting that idea. Air Pilot had previously won the G3 Prix Expri in a snowstorm just before the races were cancelled that day, beating way to Paris, GB, Champ Sully's A, GB, and Star Victory, FR, Tattoo Tart, IR, in the very same order as on Sunday in the Harcourt, which could make one think that the Prix Expri, run in extreme conditions, was actually an accurate result. OK, the ground on Sunday at Paris Longchamp was deemed heavy, but it was brand new, lush with fresh grass, and that helped the horses to overcome it. Chilean GB, Ifraj, GB, also trained in Britain, won the G3 Prix Law Force, while a Cannes Sormer listed graduate, Barca, FR, Sioni. FR, more or less ridiculed a field of six rivals, mostly G1 Longin's pre de Diane pretenders. Although he wasn't spotted at Paris Longchamp on Sunday, John Gosden can sit back and relax. As far as it goes, his cracksman, GB, Frankel, GB, hasn't much to fear from France in the G1 pre Gane. By the look of it, French trainers are happy to let their British and Irish rivals win on French turf, just as long as they let us win on Britain's all-weather tracks. Not a subscriber? Click here to sign up for the daily PDF or alerts.